ya askofu wamesema askofu wamesema tufanye kazi zetu kwa kujumuisha na kuunganisha wananchi wote nyinyi mnajua neno la Mungu katika matayo tano tisa inasema heri wapatanishi wale wanaunganisha watu kwa sababu wataitwa wana wa Mungu so to all of you who are working for the unity of the people of Kenya as the words of Matthew says you will truly be blessed and your names shall be in a place as the children of God so sote kama viongozi tuliopata baraka ya uongozi tuunganishe wananchi wetu wa Kenya mimi nataka niwahakikishie vile niliwaeleza and i want to say today in church kwamba nilisema maneno ya zaburi moja kumi na tatu mstari wa saba na nane inayosema Mungu atawainua wanyonge kutoka mavumbini mpaka wataketi meza moja na wafalme that is the mission of this government because i made a pledge and a commitment that we are going to lift those at the bottom so that we can lift them up na ndio sababu mnaona tumeweka mpango yetu kwa kuhakikisha kwamba tunazalisha chakula ya kutosha tuondoe aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya ndio mnaona tumeweka mpango kamili ya kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na funding model mpya ambayo itahakikisha hata mtoto wa maskini ataweza kusoma university ataweza kusoma tivet kwa sababu tumetengeneza mfumo that is going to make sure no child is left behind ndio sababu tumeweka pesa nyingi kuajiri walimu wetu for the first time in the history of Kenya tumeajiri walimu sita mara moja it has never happened na Januari tumeshatangaza tena tutaajiri walimu wengine 1200 because we want to make sure that every child in Kenya irrespective of their background wanapata nafasi ya kusoma as a government as we focus on ensuring that no Kenyan is left behind ndio sababu mnaona tumebadilisha mfumo wa mambo ya afya ya Kenya pale mbeleni mambo ya bima ya afya ilikuwa ni kwa wale wenye uwezo kwa sasa kupitia mfumo huu mpya mambo ya bima ya afya itafikia kila mkenya sio lazima ukue na kazi sio lazima ukue na uwezo yule ambaye huna uwezo wa kulipa hiyo pesa ya shif sasa serikali ya Kenya itakulibia na hakuna mkenya tena najua pale nyuma kulikuwa mkenya anaenda hospitali ako na saratani ako na hypertension ako na ugonjwa wa sukari ile inaitwa diabetes anakaa hospitali alafu mwisho anaambiwa sasa kwa hii kadi yako pesa imeisha wewe sasa enda nyumbani ungoje kifo how heartless can we be na ndio tumesema katika mfumo wetu huu mpya hakuna mkenya atatolewa tena hospitalini ati kwa sababu pesa yake imeisha sasa tuko na mfumo ambayo itawezesha kila mkenya atibiwe asiwe na pesa awe na pesa because that is what a society that is what our constitution demands of us as government na hiyo ndio mpango ambayo tuko naye and i want to promise you we are going to change this country ndio sababu tumeweka mfumo leo Nairobi hii aladwa yuko hapa leo Nairobi hii hapa mkuru kule Kibera tunajenga nyumba affordable housing ambayo mwananchi mdogo na shilingi 1000 tatu analipa saa hizi 
kwa nyumba yenye haina maji, haina stima, haina choo. Kwa hiyo hiyo elfu tatu, hapa mbele nani mtaniona Disemba mwaka huu tutaanza na nyumba elfu moja kwanza hapa Nairobi. Mwananchi wa kawaida Mwananchi ambaye analipa leo nyumba ya mabati na matope ataingia kwa orofa kumi na moja aishi pale na hiyo elfu tatu yake kwa sababu we want to make a difference in the Republic of Kenya. That is the transformation our nation is going to go through and I am confident that we are going to take this nation to the next level. Kwa hivyo mimi na wauliza ndugu zangu viongozi sisi tulio pata na fasi hii sasa maneno ya siasa tuweke kando. Hiyo maneno ingine yote tumemalizana nayo. Sasa tuungane. Na nawashukuru viongozi wamesema hapa. Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga alikubaliana na mimi tuungane, tuunganishe taifa letu la Kenya. Tuhakikishe kwamba tunapeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele bila ya kujali wewe ni wa siasa upande gani, wewe ni wa mrengo kani kwa sababu katika manifesto ya azimio ilikuwa housing. Manifesto ya Kenya kwanza ilikuwa housing. Manifesto ya azimio ilikuwa mambo ya afya. Manifesto ya Kenya kwanza ilikuwa mambo ya afya. Sasa mbona tusiungane, tutekeleze yale yaliyoko katika manifesto yetu tubadilishe Kenya ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele. Tumeelewana jamii ni watu wa divine. Mnasema tushirikiane. Tupeleke Kenya mbele. Nikiongea na nyinyi saa hizi hapa katika mji wetu wa Nairobi. Mimi najua kanisa la divine liko hapa Nairobi na tuko na viongozi wengi. Mambo matatu ya muhimu nataka niwaambie kama watu wa Nairobi. Tumekuwa na shida ya changamoto ya mambo ya maji. The good news I want to tell you now. Ile Northern Connector ambaye ilikuwa tunangojea miaka nyingi. Tumekamilisha sasa 140,000 million liters of water, additional water is now coming to this city of Nairobi. Wale watu wamekuwa kiangaika hapa Kibra kule Langata na kusemu zingine. Now we are sorting it out working with the, with the county government of Nairobi. Ya pili hapa Nairobi nyinyi mnajua Nairobi River ni mahali chafu takataka mahali yenye uvundo mimi nataka niwaambie sasa kuanzia wiki ijayo tumeweka kandarasi to clean the Nairobi River working with young people in this city vijana wa kwanza elfu kumi wako kazini vijana wengine elfu ishirini tutawaweka kazini kutoka hapa hapa Nairobi 